Welcome to the game room. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another uh, horror pack A killer number five this time. Um, the milkman, the mundane killer. Um, there's not a ton to this model. Um, great detail. It's just, I mean, he's straightforward. I primed him in white. Actually, I primed him gray sear. Then I went back and I and I primed him white on top of that because his whole uniform is white. Uh, so just to cut out the middleman of trying to paint the white on there, just went ahead and primed him white so it'd be uniform on his uniform. Get it? Yeah. Uh, and we'll go over that probably with apothecary white, uh, very thin, just to. I don't want to turn it gray. I just want to highlight you know, the different creases and things like that. His shoes, the rim of his hat, his belt will be black. Uh, skin, we'll do like we've always done with the skin, the barbarian flesh, the tan flesh. Um, gun in gunmetal, as well as the holder for the milk. Um, and that's about it. I mean, he's got a bow tie on. We'll do that black along with the brim of his hat. And uh, so, since the biggest portion of this is going to be the apothecary white, which is going to make it difficult to do um, fixes should we um, mess up and touch it. So actually, I think we'll do that last in case we need to go back and touch it up with some white. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the flesh colors. And to do that, we do tan flesh followed by barbarian flesh. We've got the up, and this is mainly on the areas that are that would be brightest, you know, where the sun's hitting. I'm going to leave the 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 tanned flesh down in the recesses and the darker spots. So again, mixed with water to help it flow. Okay, so now for the gun and the box that's holding the milk, we're going to do, uh, I'm using gun metal, use whatever metal you would like.
shoes. color to do his hair. I think I'm going to go with uh, I end in yellow. We'll make him kind of the yellowish blonde. Mainly because I don't want to do black or another dark color. Okay, since the there is no model pants loops that I saw, I'm going to paint something with the white. In addition to touch up any white anywhere else that we need to. flesh wash on the skin to pull all of that together. last step um, contrast medium and apothecary white I'm gonna cut it down probably about three medium to one white because I really don't want it to turn gray I just want the just to shade in the highlights or to, to just to shade the the recesses and and you know what I mean so let's try about three to one.
completely dry before I base him. I really like what they did in the picture on the site and we're going to add the blood effect. So if you've watched one of my other videos where we actually did this, um, you'll see what I'm about to do. And the problem here is getting him in the right position. So left with the blood gun, a big dry brush. Don't get all of the, the paint off. Make sure you have something around your work area and then just going to Hopefully, I'm going to change the camera angle so hopefully you can see this a little bit better. <clears throat> and I'm going to try a different brush. Let's try something that's relatively stiff. Oh, 
Alright, and there you go. The mundane killer boot man complete. Again, you could take it to the next level if you want. You could add some more highlighting. I think he looks just fine the way he is. And uh, we'll call him done. Okay, so again, guys, uh, hopefully this helped. Uh, that's five. The one left in Horror Pack A. Uh, hopefully you're finding these helpful. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day.